Hello Sporters! Welcome to Endless Sport Time. Basketball is a sport where, each of the five players on the court, even the other players on the bench, must bring their grit to win. Victory comes from many angles, and the management, searches and hires players and coaches. The coaching staff itself, their preparations, physical and tactical strategies, and of course the list of players, who put it all on the table before. But while any team, even a champion, always has very good players, there are unfortunately bad ones too. They stand out when they don't do things right. Let's take a look at the worst players, on the last 10 NBA championship teams. Let's get started. 10. Joel Anthony, 2012-13 season, Miami Heat. The Miami Heat won their second championship in franchise history, after nearly cruising through the regular season. With a roster that included LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and Ray Allen, the rest of the team, almost had no pressure on their shoulders. But still, Joel Anthony performances was a shame. He averaged 1.4 points, 1.9 rebounds, and 0.2 assists per game in the regular season, and averaged 0.4 points, 1.5 rebounds, and 0 assists per game in the playoffs. 9. Matt Bonner, 2013-14 season, San Antonio Spurs. Coach Greg Popovich, must have been very upset with forward, Matt Bonner, during the 2013-2014 season. With such a complete squad, he had to rely on very smart benches, with starters resting. Bonner was the worst player that year. His regular season averages were 3.2 points, 2.1 rebounds, 0.5 assists, 0.2 blocks, and a postseason average of 1.2 points, 0.6 rebounds, 0.5 assists, 0.1 steals, and no blocks. 8. Brandon Rush, 2014-15 season, Golden State Warriors. That's not to say that, Brandon Rush has been a great player in his 9-year NBA career, but the 2014-15 season, was his worst days in the league. Appearing in 33 regular season games, he averaged 0.9 points, 1.2 rebounds, 0.4 assists, while in the playoffs, he averaged 1.0 point, and 1.0 rebounds. Believe it or not, this shooting guard was selected in the first round, as the 13th overall of the 2008 draft. 7. Richard Jefferson, 2015-16 season, Cleveland Cavaliers. Richard Jefferson, was a player who struggled to stay in the NBA for a long time. And the boy actually did succeed. He was in the NBA for 17 seasons. At age 35, in the twilight of his career, the 6'7", 233-pound forward, had an ill-fated campaign with the 2015-16 champion, Cleveland Cavaliers, before retiring. In 74 regular season games, he averaged 5.5 points, 1.7 rebounds, 0.8 assists, 0.4 steals, and 0.2 blocks per game, and had a 9.7 player efficiency rating, making the worst player of the team. 6. James Michael McAdoo, 2016-17 season, Golden State. Born in 1993, in Norfolk, Virginia, the 6'9", 230-pound forward, had the good fortune to become the worst player, on the Golden State Warriors 2016-2017 NBA champion roster. James McAdoo averaged 3.0 points, 1.7 rebounds, and 0.3 assists in 111 games career. He also appeared in 52 games that season, averaging 1.8 rebounds, 0.3 assists, 0.3 steals, 0.6 blocks, and 2.8 points per game. 5. Patrick McCaw, 2017-18 season, Golden State Warriors. Patrick McCaw, won three championships in his five-year career. He even won the championship with two other teams. So this shows that, to be in the right place, at the right time, you have to be lucky. Still, the shooting guard was a weak cast for the 2017-18 Golden State Warriors, averaging 4.0 points, 1.4 rebounds, and 1.4 assists in the regular season. 4. Patrick McCaw, 2018-19 season, Toronto Raptors. How sad that Patrick McCaw, is known as the lucky guy. It's awkward to repeat him on the current roster, but he was actually good enough to be the worst player, on a championship team, this time, with the Toronto Raptors. In 11 playoff games, he averaged 0.5 points, 0.4 assists, 0.3 rebounds, 0.2 steals per game, and had a 5.7 player efficiency rating. 3. Junior Smith, 2019-20 season, 
Los Angeles Lakers. In general, in pretty much every sport, the precise moment to retire is not decided correctly. A good example, is the shooting guard Smith's NBA career, had been pretty decent, and actually has been longer than average. But he had a bitter taste in his retirement season. Because despite being a champion, it was the worst campaign of his career, and he was the worst player on the Los Angeles Lakers. In 10 postseason games, Smith averaged 2.0 points, 0.3 rebounds, and 0.3 assists, with a minus 11.7 box plus minus. 2. P.J. Tucker, 2020-21 season, Milwaukee Bucks. P.J. Tucker, was traded from the Houston Rockets to the Milwaukee Bucks mid-season, to add bench depth to this year's NBA winning team, and they got it, but P.J. Tucker, was indifferent to the team. In the regular season, he averaged 2.6 points, 2.8 rebounds, 0.8 assists, and 0.1 blocks per game, and in the playoffs, he played 23 games, 19 as a starter, averaging 4.3 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 1.1 assists, 1.0 steals per game. 1. Andre Iguodala, 2021-22 season, Golden State Warriors. Obviously, a 38-year-old player, should be in decline, even though there are very few exceptions, but living on both sides of the coin, for seven years, hero or villain, is to underline it. Andre Iguodala, performed well in the 2015 NBA Finals, and was named Finals MVP. However, in the 2021-2022 season, he averaged 4.0 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 3.7 assists per game in the regular season, and in the playoffs, he averaged 1.6 points, 1.7 assists, and 1.0 rebounds per game, with minus 2.2 box plus slash minus, and a 0.0 of warp. Alright guys. This is all I have for today. If you think I left out something, don't hesitate, to drop it in the comments section down below. Also, if you find this video interesting, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, for more videos like this.